Hi, it's Ash and welcome to my channel. I'm here to help you feel good after your run. We'll have a nice stretch, so hopefully you can start the rest of your day feeling refreshed and recovered so you can keep your body supple and healthy. So we're gonna make a start by bringing your hands underneath your shoulders and knees underneath your hips, and we're just gonna have a little wiggle to settle down into our hands and knees and just have a little bit of a movement make your body feel balanced and even and then from here we're going to start to just work for a few rounds into the back by working to cat cow so press the belly to the floor and the chin comes up as you arch your back and breathing in as we do that and then as you round your back nice and slowly push your belly button up towards the sky breathing out as you do that and go really slow so belly button to the floor chin comes up you start your breath in and then as you start your breath out, your chin towards your chest and rounding through your back. Push your belly button up towards the spine as you're breathing out. So just continue in your own inhale and exhale as you do that. And think about all of those vertebrae in the spine. So from the lower back all the way through to the base of the skull. See if you can move every single one of them. Keep the discs in between the back in between the vertebrae, nice and healthy. So movement is that catalyst to create that fluidity and that, that fluid in between the joints. It creates movement, which moves everything over each other more supple. It glides everything. So particularly into the lower back area, because if we don't move the lower back, the lower back area can fuse. So we don't articulate that spine enough, it can get stiff and tense and start to fuse. And particularly after our running, it can get a bit tense and achy. So we're just staying a little bit longer in this last one. And working right through the back. Have a little bit of a wiggle now, so just bring some movement whatever feels good through that just have a little bit of a wiggle we're going to open into the ribs and the shoulders now so right hand into the mat you're going to lift or just peel the left hand up off the, the floor into the air take a nice breath in and reach the fingertips up open up the ribs open up the side of the body and then as you breathe out bring the hand down and swap peel the right arm up off the floor and as you do that again open up the right ribs right shoulder right armpit area breathing in Really feel that nice stretch and just go through that a few rounds of exhaling coming down. In your own inhale and exhale now. So inhaling up, nice good stretch. Open up the side of the body and then as you exhale you're coming down with that. So you can make this movement however feels good for you. As you continue to do this, maybe you get a little bit of a circle or maybe you get a little bit of a swimming motion through the arm and the shoulder. You want to open through the shoulder a little bit more into that range of motion. So make it your own, whatever feels good. Just explore your body and find what feels tense or needs stretching, working into for you. Some people have more achiness in the lower back or in the ribs, on the shoulder and the neck area. You might want to work into that a little bit more, move the arms. Again, I'm here as your little guide. So don't, you don't have to be copying my pattern exactly. I want you to feel empowered to explore. We're just gonna come down, have a little bit of a, again, a little bit of a movement, a little bit of a wiggle, and we're gonna rock slowly the hips towards the heels. As we do that, slow and conscious of the knees. Don't go any further if we feel pain. And as we come forwards from here, we're gonna step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. And then just have a little bit of a pulse forwards. As we pulse forwards, just take the back knee backwards a little bit, a couple of steps, so that we can start to feel that stretch at the top of the right thigh into the hip flexors. So again, hip flexors and quad muscles do a lot of work, so let's give them a little bit of a stretch. And then from here, we're going to start to walk the hands back towards this back knee. And as we do that, we're straightening the left leg. So straightening the left leg, pulling the left toes up as well, but keep a slight bend in the left knee. We don't want to be too aggressive. Relax the shoulders, relax the jaw, find a stretch into the hamstring area. So again, the hamstrings do a lot of pulling, they pull our body across the earth. And then we're slowly walking forwards, deep lunge towards the top of the mat, into that 
hip area, that hip flexor and quad area, so really stretch down, take a nice breath out, relax the shoulders, relax the jaw, and we're moving through this now, so walking the hands back to the knee at the back, pull the toes, dig the heel in, again everything's nice and easy and light and calm, and then a little bit of a stretch, we finish the stretch, and then we move forwards, so this is where we're going, so you move in your body, in your rhythm, keep breathing, in and out through the nose if you can. Maybe you get a little bit of a pause at each side. Notice where you need a little bit more stretching, you need a little bit more pushing, a little bit more work. Nice dynamic massage that really opens up the hips, the hamstrings, quads as well. One more as we come into the hamstring stretch. Just relax the shoulders and the jaw. Feel that nice stretch, really nice dynamic movement. Walk the hands back to the top of the mat. And as we do that, get strong into the hands and step the left foot backwards to meet the right. Okay, and then feel the difference. So again, a mindful check. Consciously checking the body of sensations. Have a little bit of a movement and a wiggle. And then from here, rock hips towards the heels, almost into like a half child pose. Child's pose, sorry. Or not quite fully into a child's pose. And as we come forwards from here, we're going to step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Make the right foot nice and softly connected to the floor. We should have that stretch into the top left hip, uh, top left thigh going up into the hip flexor area. If you've not, take your back knee further backwards. If you've gone too far, bring your knee further forwards. Have a bit of a wiggle. Let the hips lunge down. Again, breathe and relax. So we want to slow our breathing down so that we're signaling to the whole of the body, the, the brain-body connection, that it's okay to relax. We're lowering the intensity now. We're bringing our body back in balance. We're bringing our mind back in balance. Okay, walking the hands to the knee at the back now. And as we do that, we're going to dig the right heel in, pull the right toes slowly, and then start to find that stretch that's the right amount for you. Always keep a slight bend in that right knee. And then from here, find that stretch, a little bit of work as you let the hips sink down, relax the shoulders and the jaw and the facial muscles, nice good stretch. As we get into the deepest stretch that's comfortable, so no more than a 7 out of 10, we don't want to be brutal to the body, we then start to move forwards. Walking with the hands, foot comes nice and flat, lower the back hip down into the floor, feel that stretch to the top of the left thigh going up into the hip flexor area. We're going to have a little bit of a wiggle at the end of the stretch. And then you just continue in your own inhale and exhale now to move through that. Having that mindset of massaging, recovery, healing the body, being kind to the body. Because if you've just been for quite an intense run, there's a lot of stress and intensity in the body. I want to ease that out. So you're continuing to move forward and backwards in your own rhythm. How was your run? Did it feel good? Was it a little bit challenging today? Was it physically challenging or mentally challenging? Or maybe just everything was in flow and it felt good? And we don't need to overanalyze it. We just need to notice, again, mindfully notice what it was. And it is what it is. If there's anything we can affect in terms of like maybe our resting or hydration or food, then that's when we can reflect on that and then ah, maybe I need to do this next time. Because have a little wiggle and we're going to step that right foot backwards now and then touch towards the left toes. Come down as if we're coming back into child's pose again, but not quite fully into child's pose. And then we're going to stretch the fingertips out. We're going to come forward with the left foot this time, back onto the left side. And then we're going to, again, take the back knee back to the point that we really do feel that stretch in that right quad area and right hip flexor area. We're then going to, if this is good for you, stay here. But if you have got the flexibility to do this, again, this is not a challenge. Left hand, so hand closest to the foot can lift up and you can take hold of that right foot as that right foot comes up towards the hip. And then we're just going to slowly, really slowly massage pulse with this. So breathe and pulse. And keep wiggling. Breathing, everything as relaxed as possible, although there is obviously some intensity going on. See if you can keep those areas of the body 
that need to be soft, soft, and keep breathing and moving with this. Okay, and then slowly releasing that foot. Step, hands strong, step the left foot back. Hips towards the heels slowly into almost like a child's pose again, but not quite. As we come forward, stepping the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Again, take that back knee backwards to the point that we can feel a stretch in that left thigh, hip flexor area. Have a little bit of a wiggle. And then if, if we're okay and we've got more flexibility here, we could bring that right hand and catch hold of the left foot. And then lower the hip down again, keep the shoulders relaxed. Pulse with that foot really slowly. Again, so pulling the foot and then releasing, pulling the foot and release, but also massaging with the hip towards the floor as we do that. Keep breathing. If you've enjoyed this practice, please do just press the thumbs up. It takes two seconds. Leave a comment and say, thanks for the video, Ash, if you're not sure what to put. Share this with a fellow running friend and subscribe to the channel if you're not. And I know I probably, if you watch these a lot, I'm really sorry for boring you with that. People get annoyed with that sometimes, but it's the way that my channel is able to grow and reach more runners and get this message out, don't skip the stretch. And it's, able, it's the way that I'm able to continue to keep providing free content for you. So thank you for the support of that. Release that left foot, step the right foot backwards. Have a little bit of a, again, a little bit of a wiggle. Come forwards. So the only area we've kind of missed there really is the calf muscle area. So I do have a, a, a specific calf muscle area. Stretch if you're interested in adding a little bit more on. It's about a seven minute stretch if you've got the time. You can continue and work into those calf muscles. But there we've really focused on that hip and hamstring area and also into obviously into the shoulders and the back. So how do you feel? Thank you for following along with me and I shall see you in the next video.